parsha, how the bondage was instituted, and they worked the Jews. The term used is avodas perech, a work, a type of work which actually which broke them, which was a level of human overwhelmed human taxing of their systems and the whole idea was that they were concerned they were proliferating and this would somehow by minimizing them physically they'll stop procreating and proliferating and the Torah tells us also as they afflicted them they increased and they teamed so Rashi cites the Midrash. Who made Jusha Ruach Hakodesh Meres came? Atem Omrim Pen Yirbeh. You saying maybe they will increase? Ani Omek Ken Yirbeh. They will increase. And Chazal tell us Kishen Nos the Leiv Laanos as they're contemplating to afflict them. Hakodesh Bochu is Nosing Leiv Laharfritz or Laharbos. He's giving already thought how to increase their number. There's a question which is asked. Originally, the Torah says that the bondage was meant to be 400 years. But factually, we're only in Egypt 210 years. So one of the approaches, which is Chazal tell us that if the bondage would have been an ordinary bondage, just servitude, there would have been 400 years of servitude. But because the Egyptians, they intensified the level of bondage, as it says, they embittered their lives, so the less amount of time was the equivalent of the greater amount of time. So 210 years was the equivalent of 400 years. This is the Vayimorachayim compensated for that larger number. So the lesser number was the equivalent of the greater number. There's a famous word from the Vilna Gon that the cantillation on Vayimor Chayeim is Kadmo Vazlo. Kadmo Vazlo literally means earlier to go out. So the Vilna Gold says because it was Vayimor Chayeim, because they embittered their lives, therefore they were able to go out 190 years prior to that 400 year period. Because otherwise, so because it was, they embittered their lives, that was the less amount of time, was the equivalent of the greater amount of time. This is the Vilna Gon. Also, the Chassam Sofa says that the cantillation of a Yimar Chayeim is a tune of joy, of ecstasy. I mean, here they're bittering us, they're torturing us, they're persecuting us. It should be to the contrary. But yet it's the tune of ecstasy. So the Chassam Sofa says the same thing, that because the lesser amount of time was the equivalent of the greater amount of time, we were able to leave after 210 years, rather than being exposed to the, all the impurities of Egypt for 400 years, this was a moment of ecstasy, of joy, that we're able to leave sooner. That's the Hassam Sofer. But what's the idea of Kishnosen Lev Lanos, Kishnosen Lev Lahafrut Shalharbos? As they're contemplating to afflict us, Hashem already has in mind to increase our number. The Maral speaks about this, and the Rabbi Bachi speaks about this, that why was the Torah given to Yaakov and his family? It's the most special family. Yaakov and the Shifte Ka, they were the tribes of God. So there's a principle that you have to have a critical mass of Jews for the Kabbalah Torah, for the giving of Torah at Sinai, that we should be taken as a Jewish people. It's 600,000 males above the age of 20. That's the critical mass. When we achieve that number, <coughs> then God's ready to give us the Torah and take us as his people. So now, if we're only meant to be in Egypt 210 years, and initially it was 400 years, the more they afflict us, they increase the level of persecution that shortens the period of time. If that's the case, we have to have larger numbers. Because if we're gonna arrive at Sinai, we have to have a critical mass of 600,000 males above the age of 20. We read, only a fifth, 20% left Egypt. That means four fifths died during the days of darkness. So how much of a populace do you need to have 600,000 males above the age of 20 besides the women and children? 
We're talking about mega numbers of Jews. Therefore, as they were contemplating to afflict us, which would shorten the bondage, God already has in mind to increase our number. Because then we're, we're going to arrive at Sinai at a sooner date. And at that date, we have to have that critical mass, ultimately, which is 20% of the greater number, which is 600,000 above the age of 20. Therefore, as they contemplating, persecuting us, afflicting us, Hashem already had in mind to increase us at an unlimited number.